In New Zealand's amazing, I love New Zealand. Um, but it takes 24 hours, as you know, to get there from here. And that's a, that's a day of your life gone, just gone. It's insane. And the jet lag is monumental. So I landed in Auckland, New Zealand. And I thought, I've got to get onto the time zone as quickly as possible. So I pulled out the bezel of my watch. And I said to the stewardess, excuse me, what's the time difference here? I just want to get, get onto the new time difference, time zone. What's the time difference here? She went, it's 12 years ahead, the time difference in New Zealand. It's 12 years ahead. We're 12 years ahead of New Zealand. So I started to wind my watch, 12 hours. <laughs> and I noticed my peripheral vision. She was looking at me like I was an idiot. I thought, what's her problem? She needs to jog on. <laughs> I got about eight hours in and I realised, oh right, I'm going to land in exactly the same place that I started. <laughs> so, so rather than look a fool, I wound it back. Thank you. I'll be fine from here. Thank you for your help. But they, do, they talk like that in New Zealand. They hear the talk right on the front of their mouth like that. Yeah, it's quite fast, it's quite pacey. And basically they just change the vowels. They have a strange relationship with vowels. They get to a vowel and they just pick another one and go with that one instead. It's <laughs> Because Australia is a little bit different. It's much slower in Australia. They take their time. In fact, the they love the vowels. When they see a vowel, they're just like, we're going to stay there. <laughs> I see no reason to rush this sentence, mate. We're going to stay in the veil. But New Zealand, it's all about changing the veil. And I had a bit of an incident on account of this vowel changing situation, and I'm going to be honest and upfront, it was quite rude. Um, but it's funny. <laughs> when I was checking into the hotel in Auckland, um, she wanted to tell me, the receptionist, about this new swimming pool that they built on the sixth floor. Six. The sixth floor. Um, and surrounding the pool was a deck uh, with an E. And it was known as the deck. And in the lift, it went, the deck. I was checking in and she said, so while you're staying here, Mr. McIntyre, are you going to spend some time sitting on the dick? <laughs> that is an astonishing assumption to make of me. She said, there's a lovely big dick on the sex floor. <laughs> there's a lovely big dick on the sex floor? What kind of a place is this? She said, the dick is just for hanging out. No, it isn't. <laughs> Careful, it can get a little bit slippery up there. It's hardwood. Oh, please, babe. 